Moxie Buck here, and welcome to another episode of Deer Clan. I think we're three episodes in, so I think I can say welcome back. The reason this took longer was because of all the art I needed to do for this week, because I made all of the art for this in a singular week. So it's a bit rushed, which is why the art's a lower quality than most of my other art most of the time. This is also probably going to come out like an hour late, and I'm going to have to add the captions after it, because I don't want to keep people waiting on it. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this. Also, I'm pretty sure people who haven't watched my live streams don't know, but I got a new mic, which is why my voice might sound different. I also found out the reason why my voice sounds weird isn't because of the mic, it's because of how any mic interprets my voice, because my voice itself is weird. Anyway, I'm going to talk about what happened in Deer Clan. So, first, sadly, we have a death. We lost Blight Roar at 154 moons old to a fox. To a fox. Yep, that's that's how that's how he died. Also, I put the lavender here because before that, he got a lavender piece. Anyway, this kind of has a ripple effect because Slowfer and Basil Cry are very affected by this. And especially Primrose Leaf, who, do, who thinks that it would show weakness to actually show that, she, that, that they cared a lot for Light Roar. But that just means that they're silently grieving what anybody to help, which doesn't really make it much better. Basil Cry is now 20, 27 moons old, and Lofor is now 93 moons old. The reason that Basil Cry and Lofor are both grieving is because Lofor was, was what I imagined was the son of Blight Roar. Because of how similar they looked, even though I still don't- I've been trying to go into the files to edit stuff like that, but that just ended up with the game breaking multiple times on my backups I made. And Basil Cry- either way, and Basil Cry misses Light Roar because Light Roar used to tell Basil Cry and also Basil Cry and Blink Lotus stories. Anyway, this, that just makes it hurt even worse for Primrose Leaf. Because Primrose Leaf is just silently grieving, which means that also well, well, in, when an event happened that both Stone and Blink Lotus were talking to each other about, when both Stone and Blink Lotus were talking about how Primrose Leaf used to act around Hollow Star. That doesn't really, that kind of hurts them a lot because they aren't dealing with stuff very well emotionally. Bowstone, by the way, is now 24 moons old and Primrose Leaf is 97 moons old. And the reason I didn't talk about Blink Lotus despite there being a drawing here is for the, is because for this one, Blink Lotus this year became a trans male. So, trans pride stuff. Blink Lotus is now 27 moons old and is a trans male. As I said. And we also have some new cats. The reason that none of these have line art is because it glitched when saving it. So just pretend they all have line art. So we have new cats so we have new cats, Delplink, Hatchkit, Shrewkit, and Jivekit. Delplink is a doe who is 14 moons old, adventurous, and a good teacher. And she and she has her three kits who are two of which are attention seekers and one of which is sweet. They are both five moons old. Also Shrewkit looks a lot like Crestblaze from Nyoko Art's Ash Clan series. So if Shrewkit becomes a warrior, I will I will make them shrew blaze.
I, I forgot to write the genders on it, but I'm pretty sure Trive Kit's the only girl and the other two are boys. Anyway, so they all they all joined the clan. I actually kept kept drawing her her eyes like this to the point where it kind of looked like I was drawing like it kind of looked like she was blind. So instead of actually changing the design, I'm just gonna say Duff Blink is blind, but Duff Blink is still strong. That's it. That's all it needed. And also, Skip Tail, who is now 30, 36 moons old, brought a, brought a new cat to the clan. I don't actually have a name for mediators in, in like, the lore that I made because I didn't think about that. But we have Rosefoot, who is a buck, which is... 84 moons old. He is faithful and a good speaker. He is also a mediator, but I don't know what I would call mediators. I'll figure that out later. That also means that, anyway, also having a mediator means that some conflicts get resolved, but also, well, during about the middle of the year, Ebony Pelt brings Wind Minnow into a into a dream of in Star Clan, and even though I haven't mentioned Ebony pa Ebony Pelt, that's because I've been mentioning her by not telling her name. Ebony Pelt was Wind Minnow's previous mate, who also became a medicine cat while being mates with Wind Minnow and mentored Loafer. Ebony Pelt is a doe who I've kept up in the the age with how old she would be at aging at the same rate as Windmanow because logic, because time's still passing technically, even if the cats don't grow. She is fierce and a great mediator. I also didn't add the Star Clan signs where it's all just one color because that just makes it look like the cre that just makes it look like, like any of the cats that are in Star Clan look more alien instead of just being the same cats but a bit different. So anyway, Wind Minnow, who is now 108 moons old, gets very, very emotional over this. And Ebony Pelt comes to tell a prophecy that, Eb that Wind Minnow has to defend Deer Clan no matter what. Which comes into play later, but now, Bitter and Poppy is now for- Bitter and- Bitter and Kit has become Bitter and Poppy, who is 14 moons old and is altruistic and extremely smart. He was he was mentored by Bowstone. And next we have how the prophecy comes in. So on a on a patrol of Drake's tale, also I forgot to mention this, but it's Drake Tail and Windminnow are now mates because also during the encounter with Ebony Pelt, Windminnow asked if it would be bad if he fell in love with Drake Tail. Ebony Pelt said no, so they're now in love. I forgot to say that. So on a patrol with Drake Tail, who is now seventy six moons old, they both come across a fox feeding on a fallen carcass, and they take it to mean. Take it to be a sign from Starkland that they have to chase the fox out of the territory because it's the same fox that killed Bl Blightroar, or else they'll be destroyed. They both manage to do it, although they do get a few scratches, be but because of how well they work together, they don't get badly injured. And also, Junipafur and One Stripe actually make up for all the stuff that was happening. Junipafur is now 30 moons old, and One Stripe is now 37 moons old. So I imagine with, the, with Rosefoot being a mediator in the clan, they were able to actually talk about why they started getting mad at each other. I imagine that One Stripe kind of wanted Junipafur to be like her, but Junipafur... 
one strip kind of wanted Juniper Fur to be like her, but Juniper Fur also still had problems with being, being very mean and also being extremely murderous. I imagine that they talked it out and came to some sort of agreement over it. Also, the reason I did I just drew it like this was because I do not want to draw like animal corpses or anything because other than like mice, I love birds, I love squirrels, I do not want to draw dead ones. Anyway, now to the last event of the year. Houndstripe and Be and Beetletail actually made up as a result of Bowstone train training Poppy. Not Poppy. Bitter and Poppy. They actually talked about why they disliked each other. And they made up and became friends. Houndstripe is now 68 moons old. And Beetletail is now 30 moons old. That's all that happened in Deer Clan. This year. But. There's probably going to be a lot more stuff next year. Sorry if this video is a bit rushed. Because it is. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this short thing for Deer Clan. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this and also add captions after I upload this. Not before for once. Okay, well I'm gonna go do that before it's been an hour. Be till, before it's been an hour since I uploaded since I said I would upload. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I and yes, I know that that's a lot of cats that I drew. Because cat. Buggy later.